This is Matthew with GoTo Tech Reviews, and welcome to part two of our all-in-one versus Air CPU cooling series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dark Rock Pro 3 from Be Quiet. All right, so before we get started, let's go ahead and look at some of the features that the Dark Rock Pro 3 has to offer. The Dark Rock Pro 3 has improved dynamic wave contour cooling fins with small dots on the surface, which increase air circulation. Uh, there are seven high performance heat pipes with copper lining, uh, which allows for 250 watts of TDP, uh, which gives low temperatures even at peak performance. There is an enhanced double tower layout, which reduces weight and enables high cooling power. There are also two Silent Wings PWM fans, 120 millimeters in the front and 135 millimeter one in the middle. It also features a decoupled fan mount which reduces vibration and keeps noise low at 26.1 dBA even at 100% PWM fan function. The design features a completely dark nickel plated heat sink and a brushed aluminum top cover with high grade diamond cut finish. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I've been really excited to take a look at this one. I've only heard good things about it. So uh, it's packaged in your standard soft cell foam. Ooh, it's really pretty in person too. And we'll set the box off of the side here. Oh, this is a sight to behold. Let's put some of this foam wrapping away. Very simple packaging. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with it. Uh, here's the accessory box real quick uh, before we take a look at some of the features of the fan again. Um, so taking a look at some of the accessories, uh, you've got the, the bracket here as well as the extra fan clips for the third fan if you want to. There's also uh, some thermal paste in there as well. And then here's all the mounting hardware. And some more of the, the mounting brackets. As well as your instructions. Overall first impressions are really good. Uh, the pictures really do not do this thing justice. It is just absolutely beautiful uh, the dark nickel plating the brushed aluminum on the top just looks really sleek so let's go over some of the dimensions it's 150 millimeters by 137 millimeters by I believe 163 millimeters and weighs 1.197 kilograms so this thing is meant to cool uh, well rated for 250 watt of TDP so that, that means when you are running at max performance on really just about any chip, even overclocked, you're gonna be able to cool it rather well. Um, so some of the uh, specs on the heatsink itself, there are actually 90 fins uh, to dissipate heat and it has the twin tower design as we mentioned before. Also what we mentioned before is the uh, seven uh, heat pipe design. So here's another look at that here. You can also see the 135 millimeter fan as well as the 120 millimeter fan. This is where you would attach that third fan for extra performance. Um, in our testing, uh, we are only doing default configuration, so we're not going to be adding the third fan into testing. But it's there if, if you want. Uh, so it'll give you uh, increased performance and lower the noise. Because the more fans you have in series here uh, on these types of coolers, uh, typically you can run them at lower RPM and get similar performance, uh, thus reducing your noise. Uh, the, the top, as I mentioned earlier, that is a brushed aluminum and boy, it looks good. Uh, and this is what you're going to be seeing on most cases anyways, uh, if, if it's a vertical mount uh, motherboard. So this is how you'll see it. And I have absolutely no complaints with that whatsoever. So noise levels that you can expect at the 50, 75, and 100% uh, PWM marks are 13.2, 19.5, and 26.1 decibels respectively. 
Overall, I mean, it is a solid design. It looks really good, and I can't say enough about how good it looks. Um, you know, the, the black silent wing fans just look great. The, the dark nickel plating looks absolutely fantastic. I am so excited to build with this, and it looks uh, fairly intuitive to build with. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and install this in the system. So as you can see from the performance results, the Dark Rock Pro 3 is definitely no slouch. And I believe it offers one of the best values of the three uh, CPU coolers that we tested. Um, and it was actually the cheapest of all the options. And it still managed to give performance that hang, hung right in there within a few degrees while offering superior noise um, performance. So, and on top of that, it's, the sexiest looking one out there. It will complement just about any build. It looks really good in all the builds that I've done and you really just can't go wrong with it. Now there are a few minor quibbles that I have. Uh, the first being that the mounting system was not my favorite. Uh, the other minor quibble is that these fins are extremely fragile. Uh, they're pretty thin and I actually got a little bit of a cut from one. Uh, but you know, after looking at it, you know, from installing it and removing it a couple times from a couple test systems. Uh, there are several bent fins on here, but really, like I said earlier, it's just a minor quibble. 
Overall, this is about as good as a CPU cooler that you're gonna get out on the market. In terms of performance, uh, both thermals and noise, and you know, Be Quiet definitely lives up to its name there. And by far the best looking air cooler on the market, in my opinion. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will catch you next week where we have some more fun tech to look at.